But let, let's let's just go back to that. So you're six years old. You, you started off, you know, as a youngster. What 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 sort of sparked that to keep you going? And how did you go from there right the way through? Was it were you really gifted at it from day one? I think I was. I definitely had something, um, but it it genuinely was about having fun. Like I was in an all boys team, so I found it quite challenging at the start until my dad was kind of like, well, just go get the ball. If they're not going to give it to you, just go and get it. And then when they started to show respect and almost, you know, want me in their team and the coaches played such a big part in that because they would always be like using me as a demonstrator being like, we all need to tackle like Rachel does. So if she can do it, you lot need to step up. So always instilling that confidence and that belief in myself then allowed me to relax and enjoy my rugby. And I think that just all stems from that enjoyment and just having fun week in, week out. And our coaches, we used to do this, is <laughs> so not allowed to do it. After a game or a festival, we used to lay on this bank, all the kids. <laughs> and um, we used to lay with our mouths open. They used to come pour Shandy in our mouths. <laughs> they used to call Shandy on the bank. I doubt it was even Shandy. Do you know what I mean? But they used to tell us that. But just like moments like that and like singing in the back of the bus on the way back from a festival. Just all those are like my best memories. And what kept me always going back was to be a part of that team and be and do things like that together. So we just want to say that was pre the Children's <laughs> Act. Um, yes, just so oh. everybody knows. Um, and we'll move swiftly on. Uh, those coaches are no. Uh, uh, oh, are there's not far be worse stories out there than that. <laughs> <laughs>